right now. From Milwaukee, this is today's TMJ4, live at 5. Right now, a five of federal lawsuit filed over a man dying of thirst in the Milwaukee County Jail. I do not see that this can be uh, an accident. Lawyers for the family claim Terrell Thomas wasn't the only inmate to be denied water in the Milwaukee County Jail. Thomas was found dead in a cell last April. His family says he was subjected to a form of torture in his 10 days of solitary confinement. They want the U.S. attorney to investigate. Ben Jordan is live and joins us with the story. Ben. George and Carol, Terrell Thomas's family says torture led to his death, claiming that his pleas for water were ignored by Milwaukee County Jailhouse staff. In a news conference called Thirsting for Justice. I want them to be held accountable. The son of the man who the pending lawsuit is all about shared his emotions are still raw more than 10 months later. They took away a piece of me. Terrell Thomas spent his last 10 days of life in jail last April. Water, Investigators on the water, case say he water. didn't have running water for the last six. It was shut off because of his destructive behavior. I do not see that this can be uh, an accident. Thomas's family's attorney, Walter Stern, filed the federal complaint claiming cruel and unusual punishment on top of due process. This was close to intentional, as I've ever seen, a case involving the Constitution. Asking for a U.S. attorney to investigate what led up to his death to present findings to a grand jury. We treat POWs, prisoners of war, better than prisoners in this country. CERN mentioned three other inmates who died in the Milwaukee County Jail, claiming similar treatment. If you, if you can see these all black men, David Sheriff Clark, Black Lives Matter. And earlier today, I reached out to Sheriff Clark's office asking for a comment on this pending litigation. I did not hear back. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan. Today's TMJ4. Yeah, this case has gotten a lot of attention, even nationally. Thank you, Ben.